Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday, and can I just, before I messed up, okay. and you know people mess up all the time, and but I messed up on Thursday's show, and I'm mad enough to admit it, admit my mistake. I had put the new trailer company up as our last sponsor. And I didn't go through after the show and look and remember who we were talking about, which was Dave at ADS. So, <laughs> kind of... It happens. I kind of, you know, sometimes... <clears throat> but you know what? What? There ain't a whole lot of people that admit when they're wrong. That's well, a well, big deal. Or do wrong. Or do wrong. Okay. And speaking of doing, doing wrong. wrong. Doing wrong. This is frustrating. Let me... out. Throw the scenario. Throw here, a scenario. Here is a scenario. <clears throat> you own a place right. that has food. Right. And you use a company. You you have to. Correct. To keep rats away, keep bugs away. A pest control company. D yeah. Okay. Bees. All okay. those different I'm things. With you. I'm with you. And... With a place like ours, right? Uh, it's tough. Yeah, I mean, because the door, the, the walls aren't uh, anyway. Well, a place that we know, right? Heard they were using uh, an exterminator. Correct. And they changed it because of the bill. Right. Bill just keep kept getting a little higher, kept giving them excuses. Right. 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 <clears throat> now. They didn't have any bugs, didn't Correct. have any rats, didn't have any Correct. of that Correct. stuff. Correct. You know, so everything was good. Well, when they got rid of this person, it seemed like immediately they were fighting a bug problem. Yep, yep. I like this scenario. Keep going. And, you know, we got the new exterminators out there. In a few days, it's under control. Never right. had any trouble with it again. But, man... Some news was leaked that this person took a bucket of bugs, roaches, and threw them one night near this place of business. Over our fence. Sorry. Don't let me be the one to let the roach out of the bag. And from day one, we have never had trouble with it. Nope. We have had, you know, we got boxes outside. We got... Uh, B deals. We've never had a trouble, and for a couple of days there, there was a, a little bit of trouble that we fought hard to get under control. To get under control, and it was leaked that one person actually did that. The company that we had hired. And I'll, how are we? I going don't. To, I don't know legally how we're going to handle it. I'll just say, okay. how, how do we become the bigger men here? Because I, I really want to blast them. I really I, I, I want to talk and say that is, you don't do that in business. That is uncalled for. That is not <clears> right. <throat> but how do we do this? I, I really don't know how we person. do it legally for us. Yeah. You know, I don't know what repercussions could come to us. Is it a better business bureau deal? Is it a Facebook blast with their picture on? I don't know what it is, but something will be done. Yeah. Folks, we we always try to. This and this was about this was five months ago. Yeah, very frustrating that we just now found out that the reason we had that problem was they took those roaches and dumped them over the back of our fence because in business you go with different companies that give you better prices. I'm sorry, I don't care who it is. We've had it done with us with. And shooting, that's the reason we went with this and person. That's they the same good prices, reason. And and just somebody kept got upset. higher and higher. So that is very frustrating to know that we know this person and we are not going to, but not yet. And frequents our place yeah. three or four times a week still. <clears throat> and they don't know we know yet. If they watch the show, they know now. This is a very... Maybe I, they just don't show back up. I would like for you to give us your opinion because... Today's show is very frustrating because we found this out yesterday and we talked about it. And 
as and the title will be when can you blast someone on social media yeah because we could i mean because i i would think this person could lose their license for that you have to i mean you have to there's code of ethics and everything and this person i i would assume broke every code of ethic in that line of work and folks remember this this is a small town this is actually a small world And when you think and you tell somebody else, it's going to get back to us. It's going to get back to I don't whoever. Care. I don't care if you live in a big town. Your circle of friends and the circle of people you know is only so big. And my mother used to say this, I know everything you do. And I was like, no, you don't. Yeah. When growing up. Yeah, dad, and somehow. My dad was good at that too. She, she knew. Just because people talk. We we watch Bloodline. Yep. Y'all know we watch Bloodline. All right. And in Bloodline, a guy does something wrong, and his wife goes, did you do it? And he goes, he just gets quiet, and of course he knew. And I went, shouldn't have told him. <laughs> I mean, shouldn't have told her. <laughs> Why? You wouldn't tell me? I went. I, I don't think so because things things eat at people so much. I agree with that. And keeping secrets are hard anyway. I mean, I know if I tell Russell my deepest, darkest secrets, Stephanie's gonna ask him about me more. Probably, and I'm good at keeping secrets till he until I tell Stephanie. Yeah. I mean, that's just that's a secret one of, keep it right. That's, huh? That's a good secret keep it. <laughs> Thank God she can keep a secret. <laughs> but it, it's it's one of those things of when you do something, unless it's in the middle of the night all by yourself, oh, no, you can still be found out because you can't keep your damn mouth shut. And I'm glad this person didn't keep their mouth I'm shut. I'm glad as well. And Ooh. anyway, just let us know what. <laughs> How would you handle this? How would you handle this? Because we're going to handle this professionally. And if they go, there's nothing we can do, then yes, we are going to blast this person on Facebook. Trust me. If If, there's no repercussions to us. If there's no repercussions to us as far as the Better better, better, Business Bureau, blah, blah, blah. But we are going to take action. But I want to know from you. What would you do? What would you do? And our sponsor of the day is Fiat. And if possibly, we could run them over a nice car. Right. You could lease a car down there. Mm-hmm. Go talk to Nathan, and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. We could run them over. Can we? Can we? Can we get more people in our DraftKings thing since we got Nathan on the hook? We want we want 35 in it this year. We had 20. We want 35, which will take up take the money up high. We I told I told Shelly yesterday. I told RoboCop yesterday. Joseph at the bowling alley. Him and his dad are gonna get in. So I, I think we can get us a, a okay. decent little group. Then y'all together. might not be in, but it's our NFL DraftKings thing. So, but but if you want in, let us know. It costs it, it, it's it's fantasy football. Yeah, that you get a new team every week. Costs you two hundred bucks. Uh, due by September first, we have a big payout party at the end. It, it's a really and good time. If you go to Fiat, you can see Nathan. He'll tell you all about it. But you got to hurry up and get in. <sighs> simple, simple, simple. What would you do in our situation right now? Mm-hmm. We got it handled. We're glad we got it handled. Got it handled about five months ago after we knew that was a problem. But what would you do? Very frustrating. You know what else is frustrating? Because I like my phone on silent. I know, but it's ringing like No, I, I like it on silent. Yeah. And it's always on silent. Correct. Okay, so you can't get it to go. No. Oh. So, you know, now I'm, I'm married. Right. And she calls and I don't answer. Right. Which is your, what you're supposed to do. Which I don't answer. <sighs> Son of a motherless. And, hey, it's one of those deals of you know when your wife calls you might want to answer. So. I went to do not disturb. And there's another deal. You put your phone on silent. Okay. And you can go, and there's a setting that lets that person come through. So that's her all this time? So now, text messages and phone calls 
from her, I hear. Right. Even if it's on silent. Right. So if y'all hear that. That is her. That's just part of it. Part of, part of it. Now, it don't matter she knows I'm here doing That's the show right now. Say, Could she give us 15 minutes? <laughs> I better not say nothing. Y'all are freshly married. <laughs> anyway. Hey, uh, I had a great weekend. I saw y'all did too. Yeah. Um, went to Loco Coyote. Megan, Megan's birthday, birthday. We went out to dinner. Yep. Then we went to Gerald's yesterday. We went to the Castillo yesterday, which was a funny story. I'd never been over there. Right. So... We leave Gerald's about 4 o'clock. We're going to whip on over there. I said, hey, let me pull that in. 909 Ashton. I went, that's in Hewitt somewhere. I said, all right, let me push it up on the phone. Okay, let's pull out of Gerald's, make a right, make the next right, get out. <laughs> it's one street over. You can see Gerald's pool house and everything from their house. <laughs> well, hell, we could have just walked walk across walked the, street over. the backyard. All right, that's it. What day. would you do? What would you do? That's what we want to know. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are 